Hi guys, it's fun of a collective time again and this month's subject is your questions that we're going to answer. So let's get pretty much straight on with this but don't forget all the logos will be up here and all the channel links for all the other channels will be down in the description below so don't forget check all the other channels out all their questions are going to be very different to ours and we are a little bit late putting this out i have to say because andy's had a few issues with two fake this last week so we did upload it it wasn't very good so we decided not to leave it there we put it back down and we're refilming so this is why i'm on my own in this one because andy's still struggling a little bit with his two fake and he's struggling to talk properly so i'm going to do his answers for him so without further ado let's get on with the questions so i've got my notebook in hand because that's got all the questions i need in there and there's is, is quite a few of them so let's get started our first question comes from caravan adventure books laura that writes the books we give her a mention in our scarborough vlog back at easter um, and they are lovely books so again i'll try and remember to put a link for laura's books in the description um, have a look at them it's all about laura's experiences as a ch child when she went caravanning with her parents but laura's questions to us is what are your favorite parts of caravanning and van life so i'm gonna answer for andy first he would say he loves the journey particularly when we're in the camper van he loves driving the camper it's small it's compact it's great for getting around in and you can park it anywhere for me i like it once we get to site i don't mind the journey i quite enjoy going to new places but i love turning up on a site that i've never been before and exploring i'm like a child at christmas um but i love to go explore i love to go explore the local areas and the freedom that both the caravan and the camper bring us is just amazing we go to so many places we'd have never have gone to if we didn't have the camper or the caravan so i think the main answer to the question is the freedom that van life of any description brings that is what we love we love all the people we've met along the way all the people we've met through doing youtube since we had the motorhome and then the caravan and now the camper as well we've met so many lovely people and made friends and keep in touch with so many people and of course this group this group has come from being part of van life so let's move on to the next question and our next questions come from mike and sue and their first question is which do you prefer the caravan or the camper mm, difficult one i love the caravan andy loves the camper i don't say i don't love the camper and i don't say andy doesn't love the caravan either but he loves the camper most me the caravan i like the space i like having my kitchen i like having my big double bed at the back the island bed i love having the bathroom the big shower that we've got which is absolutely amazing and we do use our shower um and i just love the space the camper van andy loves it because it's so easy to get around in he loves driving it there's not a lot of space but again it's one of those things it's a compromise it means we can go places where we wouldn't take the caravan so for that reason it's a hard decision i'm going for caravan i think andy would go for camper van next question from mike and sue is would you take the camper abroad and that is really funny because just a few days ago andy and i were talking about this and we said that yeah in the future when abby settles down a little bit and gets a little bit older so she's not so excitable we will take the camper abroad probably mainly to france to start with get used to the roads i've done a little bit of driving abroad not an awful lot and it's a lot of years ago um andy's never driven abroad so yeah that's a definite yes we will take the camper abroad next question again comes from mike and sue would you tow the caravan with the camper van and again that is a definite yes and the only reason we haven't is that it hasn't got a tow bar yet it will have in the future um, and i think the camper van will tow the caravan so much better than what the car does even though the car is very capable of towing it and also it gives us freedom when we're at site so we can unhitch the caravan and we can go out for days in the camper and, and still have some facilities with us so moving on swiftly because i'm conscious this could go on forever 
if I go through everything and do two long answers. So our next questions come from Tracy and Steve. And they say, as you've done motorhoming, caravanning and campervanning, which do you like best about each? Right, so starting with the motorhome. The motorhome was great. It was easy. Just throw everything in it. Once we get to storage, it was kept on storage um, and go. And it was easy again to get around in, although you have to be a little bit more careful because obviously it's a big unit. It was seven metres, but we loved it because it gave us the caravanning type things where we had the bathroom, the shower, the bed, the the kitchen, the dining area, etc. Um, the caravan, obviously just because it's a caravan, I love them, as I've already said. Um, the caravan we absolutely love. I love it once we get to site, you get your awning attached to the side, you get your caddock out, you do whatever, give it all set up. And it's so much more luxury. Um, again, as I say, we've got the big island bed, we've got the middle bathroom layout, we've got the kitchen, we've got the sitting sort of come dining area. I just love it, what can I say? Andy thinks I'm crazy. I'm 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 a caravanaholic basically. So yeah, I love the caravan. And we are away for 10 or 11 nights over Christmas in the caravan. And I can't wait. It'll be great. The camper van. We, again, we love this. Andy probably loves it more than I do. Although we are adjusting to it now. Having a small amount of space. But it's practical. It's five metres. It's no bigger than a large car really. So it's great for getting around in. So easy to park, you can park in the standard bay at the supermarket if you need to go pick up your shopping and eventually the camper is going to become my main vehicle because I'm going to get rid of my car then I'm not paying out road tax, insurance, everything else twice over so I'll just go to work in the camper, fabulous. Next question is, how I'm getting texts, it's no good, they'll have to wait. Um, next question is, how did we find the transition from the motorhome to the camper? So transitioning from the motorhome to the camper wasn't a straight transition we've still got the caravan which came in between we had the caravan for ooh, around a year before we bought the camper um so we still had that luxury although it was harder to get about um we're finding it all right actually um we do a lot of sites at the minute with the camper till we get used to it we are planning on doing more off-grid we have got a big road trip hopefully next year that we're planning um, which I'm not going to say any more about because I'll put that one in our plans for next year vlog later on in the year, back end of this year, beginning of next. So yeah, we, the transition is fine. We're getting used to it. We're getting to work out where we need to put things to make it easy because obviously we haven't got any walking about space once we're inside. If we're on site, we normally put the quest up as you've probably seen on our vlogs. Um, if we're not, we can't. So we just managed to do whatever with whatever we've got with us at the time but yeah it wasn't too bad all in all so moving on next question best site we've been to hmm that's really difficult because we've been to so many amazing sites um but i think probably our all-time favorite is st neots st neots is a beautiful site it's camping and caravan club it's set on the banks of the Great River Ouse, which is absolutely beautiful. It's very easy to walk into the town. You can go through the many parks that are around St Neots. You've got a Tesco's down the road if you need any shopping. Um, there's quite a few pubs about. Other sites we really like. I really enjoyed Barnard Castle last year. That was fabulous. Um, and there's a lot of history around that area as well as the actual castle in the town to visit as well. And we did do a lot of traveling around while we were there, as far as Penrith and Ullswater, as well as going up to Beamish. And it was a great site. And that was our first ever fully serviced pitch as well. So probably them two are the top of my list, but if I listed every site I love, I'd be here all day. So I'm gonna stick with them two for now, but they're our two favorite sites today. Next set of questions comes from Lewis and Sonia um, and they ask how do we cope in the cold weather? Well we haven't done the cold weather yet in the camper van so I don't know and we haven't got any heating in here yet either however if we use it over the winter we'll probably go on sites which means we've got hook up which means we can put our little um, 800 watt 
radiator on which does warm the van up because I have already tried this to make sure it works okay um, but yeah the caravan is easy obviously it's got electric in it's got gas we can run if it's bitter cold we do tend to find if we run the heating on gas for a little while it warms up so much more than what the electric does um, but we don't tend to leave it on the gas because obviously we hooked up to the electric we're paying for the electric in our pitch fees as I've said many a time why use your own gas when you can use the electric that you've already paid for um, so yeah, we will cope well, we'll be fine, we don't worry too much. We have got Udis and we have got a 15 tog quilt for the camper. So we'll be fine, just get your Udi on, snuggle up under duvet, sorted. Next question, what are your pro tips for a beginner camper vanner and advice you'd give them? And what changes have we doing, done or done to our camper van? Um, pro tips for beginner camper vanners. Well, to be fair, we're still quite beginners ourselves. We've only had the camper six months, so we're still learning a lot. Um, I think it goes to any leisure vehicle, really. Um, it's look for the layout that suits you. Have some idea what you're looking for. Go to the shows, go to the dealers, go on Auto Trader, have a look at different layouts, see what there is out there and see what you think would suit you. It's all about yourself. It's very difficult to give anybody advice because we're all very different and we all have different needs. Um, but check a few out or hire a camper for a, a weekend. Go out in it, see what you think. It's always worth to give it a try before you spend a fortune that you, on something that you really might not like. As for changes in our camper van, we haven't done a great deal yet. We just keep manoeuvring things around, try to work out what fits best where. We have got changes we want to do. We've got a leisure battery, um, which we're going to change to a lithium battery at some point. We're going to get a solar panel that will run that lithium battery, keep it charged up while we're off grid. Hopefully connect it to the, I think it's the alternator. This is where I need Andy because I don't know this stuff. Um, I think you connect it to the alternator or something and it charges as you drive anyway. So um, yeah, them things we're going to do. In the sh hopefully sometime next year in the spring maybe we'll get that sorted um but other than that i don't have a great deal of plans i don't want to spend a fortune on it it's fine as it is we have the jackery and the leisure battery as i say so everything works fine okay so i think that's it for questions um a couple other things i'll just mention is we get asked a few things when we're on site why we changed back to the caravan why we didn't keep the motorhome why we bought a camper as well as having a caravan why do you need two leisure vehicles and um, basically we changed back to the caravan because well Andy did it for me which is really sweet isn't it really he did it for me because he got fed up of listening to me when I'm on site saying oh look at that caravan over there that one's got this and that one's got that I know, I know all the layouts I, I look at some and I know what it's got it's like like I said I'm a caravan maniac um <clears throat> so yeah that's basically why we went back to the caravan i think he does regret it sometimes because it was a lot easier to get around in the motorhome than it is with the caravan but as i've said we love the caravan as well and that leads us on to basically why we bought the camper van so we have friends that are mcc members motor caravanners club um, and we can't take the caravan to the MCC rallies, which is where we normally meet up with our friends. Um, so we were missing that aspect of the motorhome. So the camper van now allows us to do that. And it is great fun meeting up with people. And on a lot of the rallies, particularly if we do the Yorkshire rallies, we meet up with the same people most of the time. So we know a lot of the people that go. We do occasionally do with Northern Counties rallies as well, because in the Motor Caravanners Club, you can go to any rally anywhere in the country and there's thousands of them so again might if you're a motorhome or a caravan and you're not an mcc member might be worth having a look at them it's about 38 pound a year for membership and rallies cost anywhere between 10 and 20 pound a night so they're brilliant absolutely great so anyway without waffling on any further i think that's gonna do for us don't forget it is a collaboration vlog so go into the description below check out all the other channels and see what they've been asking um, and I do apologize for being late with our vlog this month but these things happen and we'll see you on the next vlog bye for now